Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and in today's video we are going to be crocheting some mini snakes. Now this was a request by somebody who is very very excited and I'm very glad they are excited. I hope that you really enjoy this tutorial so thank you for your suggestion. Now these little guys work up pretty quickly. The way they, the construction is we first do the head and then the body portion we crochet to the length we want it to be. Um, we don't keep track of rounds during the body, so that makes it easier than trying to keep track of, you know, 20 or more rounds. So we'll just be crocheting. We don't have to keep track of the beginning of the round or anything. We'll just crochet, crochet, crochet. And then when you get to the length you want, we do the tail tip, which we'll do on any stitch in the snake. So like I said, you don't need to keep track of the rounds. Hey everyone, this is future me because present me forgot to add this in, but this pattern is free on my Instagram. I released it as a thank you for 4,000 followers. So if you would like the free written pattern, make sure to head over there and save the post. I will also be releasing it for free on Ribbler. So if you're not on Instagram, you can check out my Ribbler shop and claim the pattern for free. So let's get back to crocheting. Just a quick disclaimer before we get into the tutorial, this is an advanced beginner to intermediate. Uh, tutorial. What that means is I won't be explaining how to do the basic stitches, so the single crochet, the decrease, or the increase, and I will not be explaining how to do the chain two or the magic ring method. If you don't know how to do those things, make sure you go find another tutorial. Um, on my beginner tutorial is a great place to start if you haven't crocheted yet or you're still getting hang up terms. And then I also crochet pretty fast, so don't be afraid to pause, to replay, and to slow down the video. None of those are a bad thing, they're all great things, and keep in mind that the first time you crochet something, it will always be the longest because you're learning a new pattern. I think that's about all I have to say. If you guys want a slowed down version for this tutorial, let me know in the comments and I will put together a beginner friendly tutorial. But let's just get right into the material list. For this pattern, for it to be a mini snake, you'll have to use a size 4 yarn. So these guys are made out of the Loops and Threads Skinny Chanel, which is like a, a on the thin side of a size 4 yarn. And I'll be using a 3 millimeter hook with it. But today I'll be using the Soft and Snuggly yarn. This is the same size as this yarn, it's just a different brand and the texture is slightly different, but they're both very, very soft. I wanted to do like an ombre look, so that's why we're going with the soft and snuggly. I'm actually going to pick a different color. It doesn't have a label, that's why I hadn't shown it to you. But I'm gonna be working with this color today. It has yellow, green, blues, and some like pastel -y red. Really pretty, so that's the one we're gonna be working with today. It's the same brand as this one here, just a different color. And then, if you don't have access to a Hobby Lobby, which is where I buy this yarn, you can buy Loops and Threads, which is from Michaels. You can order Skinny Chanel, and you can also work with any size for yarn. You may have to adjust the crochet hook size depending on what yarn you use. Since this is on the smaller side, uh, I will be using a three millimeter hook, but with like an acrylic size for yarn, I would probably use a 3.5 or a four millimeter. So now what you're gonna need is a pair of scissors, a sewing needle, you will need a stuffing stick. Now, you don't need to use specifically a stuffing stick, but you can use like a wooden pencil or a chopstick, just anything that's long and thin because this pattern is pretty small and we'll be stuffing the body. It's just easier to have that stick. Now you will need a tiny bit of stuffing. And then if you wish, you can use safety eyes for these snakes. I'll just be sewing the eyes on like this, but you can use safety eyes. And if you have some on hand, go ahead and grab them for the materials. And I almost forgot, we also need a stitch marker. Now you'll need this for the head portion and then to count the tail portion, it's pretty quick. So you don't need the stitch marker, but if you do want it, definitely have that on hand. Now we're going to get into the pattern. So we're going to start by making our magic ring or using the chain two method. I use the chain two method, but you, either method, they're, they're both interchangeable, so you can use either or. Chain two, I just wrap my yarn around my fingers and then make a slip knot onto my hook. And then we will chain two for the chain two method. And then in your magic ring or your chain two, you're going to be single crocheting four. 
It's a pretty small stitch count to start off with, but we will increase in the next round, so it won't stay small for long. And once you're done, close up that magic ring where you chain two, and we're going to start round two. I like to wait on the stitch marker until after this round because it can be really tight to work into it. So what we're going to do is increase in the next stitch and then single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that two times total. So increase and then single crochet and repeat that one more time. Once you have finished round two, we're going to move on to round three, and this is where you can put your stitch marker right at the last stitch of the round if you're using it. I'm going to wait one more round as well, just because the stitch count is quite small right now. We're, go we're going to do is increase in the next stitch and then single crochet two. You'll have a total of eight stitches, and you're going to repeat the increase single crochet two a total of two times. After round three, you can insert your stitch marker if you haven't already, and just put it in the last stitch of the round. Now we're going to do round four, which we will increase in the next two stitches. So one increase and then two increases. And then we're going to single crochet two. So just one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're gonna repeat that one more time. So increase in the next two stitches and single crochet in the next two stitches. Now we're going to move on to rounds five and six, which are our single crochet rounds. So for the next two rounds, we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch. You should also have 12 stitches at this point. Once you've finished your two single crochet rounds, we are going to insert your safety eyes if you're using. Otherwise, we will wait until we are finished before we stitch the eyes on. So you'll have to insert the eyes between the two single crochet rounds. Excuse me, not between the two single crochet rounds. Count two single crochet rounds back, and that's where you're going to be inserting your eyes. So here's a single crochet round, here's the second one, and then that's where you want to insert your eyes. And you want to make sure they are on the side of the head where the increase is that we made in the previous rounds are on the side of the head. If you like, you could probably try and wait until after the next round to insert safety eyes, but our stitch count is gonna go down to six stitches, so it might be very tight to get in there. Now we're gonna do one more thing before we move on, and we're going to secure our center tail. Now, I like to do this because it makes the doll last longer, and wear and tear will open this hole back up again unless you seal it. Whether you're using the magic ring or the chain two method, I recommend doing this. So what you're gonna do is just pick up a couple loops on the inside and then pull that tail through. And then in that loop you made, pull the tail through and create a knot. And you wanna do this a few times to secure this tail so that nobody can open the magic ring or your chain two method afterward. There we are, and depending on how tight you sewed it, you might have to pull the tip of the nose back out, which isn't too hard, just use the tip of your needle for that. Now, for the next round, we are going to be decreasing in each stitch around. So halfway through this round, we are going to start stuffing the head, because it can be really tight to get in there after we finish the round. So decrease in the next three stitches, and then start stuffing the head. So 
So depending on the yarn you're using, you will only need a small amount of stuffing for the head. And when you have stuffed, you can finish the decrease round by decreasing in the final three stitches. And this is the point where you can take your stitch marker off. We don't need it for now. And we're going to move on to the body section. So the body section, we're just going to be single crocheting in each stitch around. And you don't need to count your rounds. You don't need to remember where you started. Just single crochet until you get to the length you want it to be. I'm probably just going to time lapse this portion because I don't have a lot of room on my phone right now for the video. And I'm sure you, I'm sure a lot of people will probably want to pause the video anyway. So that's the plan. But here is the head. You can see the shape coming in now. I will begin single crocheting just so you know what it looks like. And we can discuss stuffing. So when you are doing your single crochet rounds, every few rounds you'll want to stuff the body and you can probably go a little bit longer if you have a good stuffing stick but the earlier you stuff the better because it will keep the snake from being lumpy so make sure to stuff when every few rounds just a little bit of stuffing in, in the snake and this will also give you an idea of what size it will be when you stuff it it should stretch out a little bit and it might get a little bigger or a little smaller, so not a little smaller. I don't know what I'm talking about. It will get a little bit bigger. So here's the first few single crochet rounds, and now I'm just going to start stuffing. And you want to take like a little pinch of stuffing and roll it into just like a tighter ball. You don't want it to be too hard, but just enough that the stuffing stick can really hook it. And then stuff this stuffing in to your uh, snake. Depending on how far you go, you might have to do this a couple times. Just like so. And then we're going to single crochet until you get as long as you want it to be. Now, the tail takes up about an inch of space. So when you crochet your body and your head, keep that in mind that the tail is about this big and this is how much space it'll take up. So if you're looking for a six inch snake, I would say crochet it to five inches and then that extra tail piece will take up about an inch. I also like to just measure my snakes against each other once the first one's done. So this snake will have to go all the way down to here. So this is where you start to see the decrease. That's how long the body section is here. So. Keep that in mind, crochet as long as you'd like. You can make it even longer. You can make it shorter, whatever you'd like. Now we're just going to single crochet and stuff and I will meet you back here when you have the length you want and we'll finish the tail piece and then we'll be finished. The snake is pretty quick pattern. It works up pretty fast and there's not a lot of steps to it. And you can just kind of mindlessly crochet for the body, which is pretty fun. So yeah. We're just going to do that and I'll meet you back here. Alrighty, I just finished the snake's body. Sorry if the shadows are a bit dark, the sun has officially come out. In fact, let me close the blinds. There we go. It's a little bit less sharp. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the tail section. So the tail section is a total of four rounds. So if you're curious, how long that will be for you if you're using a different yarn type or anything it is four rounds and we're just going to start wherever like i said you do not need to keep track of your rounds or where you started or anything what we're going to do is decrease in the next stitch and then single crochet four we have a total of five stitches 
I don't like to just count this instead of marking it because it is pretty tight. Once you finish that round, you will single crochet in each stitch around. So single crochet five times. And now at this point you want to stuff because the we will decrease one more time and then single crochet one more time and the stitch count will get really, really tiny. So stuff while you can. You can also stuff a little bit harder here so that you can like pull it up when you finish. Or you can try and stuff after the, the four single crochet round. We have a stuffing sticker up here, so it should be pretty easy. So now what we're gonna do is decrease in the next stitch and single crochet three. We have a total of four stitches. Hold this stitch out. Now in the final round we are just going to single crochet in each stitch, so single crochet four. And this can be pretty tight. If it's too tight for you, you can fasten off on the third round instead of this fourth round. So whatever makes the pattern easier for you. And you're just going to need a small length of yarn for closing this hole. I'm gonna see if I can manage to fit any more stuffing in. Back on the tray with my scissors. So it's definitely doable, just a little bit harder, so and stuff as much as you can before. And it's okay if the tail tip isn't too stuffed because it is a tiny stitch count. And there's our snake. So now there's a couple things left to do. If you haven't inserted safety eyes, we will have to stitch the eyes on, which I'll be showing you how to do. To close up the hole, just collect all the front loops and pull tight to close up the hole. And then secure that tail by weaving it in a couple times into the body. And there we are, snip that tail. There we have our mini snake. Now the last step is to stitch the eyes on. Which we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna use a small amount of black velvet. Let me grab it real quick. Here we are, just a small length of yarn and we're going to thread our needle and insert your needle through any stitch on the bottom or top of the head. We're going to stitch the eye on. So here's the two single crochet rounds here, and then we have all our increase rounds. We're just gonna be between that final increase round and the first single crochet round. And make sure you are on the side of the head and not on top or, any, or on the bottom. And then I like to stitch the eyes on two to three times just like that, and then we'll go over to the other side and stitch the eyes on there as well. So just make sure they're fairly aligned and stitch again. just like that. And then once your eyes are secure, we can tie them together and just stuff them into the piece.
there you have your finished snake. So this is my mini snake pattern. It is pretty tiny. Uh, I do have bigger patterns, so if you're curious about that, I can also release some larger patterns. Snakes are fairly straightforward, so I have no issue giving them away for free. Um, so if you're interested in a longer or a bigger snake, let me know in the comments as well. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, more crochet with me's. Definitely subscribe if you'd like to see those. And like the video if you liked it. Share it with others if you want other people to crochet the snakes. And to the person who requested this tutorial, thank you for your request. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. With all that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!